there's not just twin flames. I'm actually getting seven, seven different layers of matching within those very high frequency connections. So the beautiful part about finding a divine counterpart, it really relates to what came through right there at the beginning, which is when we go into higher frequencies, we're more and more unified with ourselves. This is why a huge part of the population right now is coming into union with their divine counterparts on very high frequency levels because they are operating within the state of a very high consciousness. And high consciousness, mm, there's something in here. Let me look at that. We just want to state that it's not quite high consciousness. It's high vibratory beingness um, so that it doesn't seem like it comes from the mind. Okay, so there was a clarification. So when people are operating from that high frequency state, they're naturally going to draw in things that are more matched with the higher frequency state version of them. And truly, in one sense, this is everything is matched with that higher frequency state. But of course, we play with consciousness. And that's why they wanted to differentiate that we're talking about vibratory state and consciousness. So what we desire to play with in the form of another human is someone who's consciously operating in those high vibratory states, because that's when you get that reciprocity and that it's very enjoyable. So essentially be in a high vibratory state and be conscious about it. <laughs> so let's look at twin flames and soulmates. What I'm seeing is a template match. So the divine template that we are has many, many um, sort of shocker points. And within that, the twin flame connects with all of them. So it really is that yin and yang. When humans talk about soulmates, this is almost a term that's becoming outdated because we're coming into the frequency. Oh, wow. This is so blowing my mind. We're coming into the frequency collectively where we're no longer seeing in separation. And so we're really seeing everyone is an aspect of the self. And thus we see soulmates in everyone. Now, the way that it also is used, people use this in a little bit different ways, but the way that soulmate is also used is um, divine contracts, meaning two souls who incarnated, who promised or connected or with joy set out a connection point or a series of connection points within the lifespan of both individuals. And so the soulmates coming together, they're going to have assisting activations with each other, uh, whether it's easy or hard, there can be difficulties with soulmates that are pre-planned, predestined, or it can be a sort of a soulmate, which is a lifelong loving relationship or a family member, um, two souls who created this sort of agreement outside of human capacity to meet and fulfill a role within each other's lives. So the reason that there are so many different, uh, you know, there's even like quizzes, is this your soulmate? Is this your twin flame? And people put out all of these different qualifications um, is because we're trying to interpret a vibratory state through the human mind. And just know that anything that comes to you, any insight that comes to you is going to be a part of the unfolding of your story. So maybe you do take a quiz online and it says, this person's your twin flame. Well, great, because that is somehow playing into the unfolding of your particular story, things that you needed to know. But all of those qualifications are very, they sort of don't matter from this higher frequency perspective. Really, it is uh, a matching of templates. And there are many, many, many layers. Let me see if I can get clearer on this. There's not just twin flames. I'm actually getting seven, seven different layers of matching within those very high frequency connections, divine counterpart experiences. So there's a lot. And the reason that 
we don't see those very often, but we're starting to see more of them again, as the collective consciousness is rising in frequency. And so it's becoming very normal, not only to know all beings as a form of soulmate in that they are doing the dance with you divinely in this lifetime, but starting to see lots of people coming into twin flame connections, knowing them to be all sorts of different relating types, not necessarily getting married, but definitely highly activating because the frequency of the planet is still at a place where that type of relationship is going to be considered very high frequency. 